Scotland Yard under pressure over party gate photos of Boris Johnson at number 10. Scotland Yard must explain why the PM was not penalised for attending a party gate meeting in Downing Street photos show him raising a glass with colleagues. As Sue Gray's report on the happenings at number 10 during the Covid crisis is expected on Tuesday, this report comes to light at the perfect time. On November 13, 2020, Boris Johnson's former director of communications Lee Kane held a farewell party for the country's second lockdown. In the photos, the Prime Minister is seen enjoying a glass of champagne with roughly seven other persons. Johnson was the only one who didn't get a questionnaire asking him to explain why he was at the party, according to reports. The Prime Minister wanted to put the party gate scandal behind him and concentrate on the rising expense of living. When the Metropolitan Police finished its investigation and revealed that he had only been handed one citation, he had planned to put the incident behind him. Even while he previously assured lawmakers that he was certain that the advice and regulations were followed no matter what occurred on November 13, Johnson is now being questioned about whether he lied to them. Several members of his own party are putting pressure on him to explain what occurred and to reconcile his version of events with the evidence provided by the images. According to ITV News, a former advisor of Prime Minister Cummings, Dominic, may have been behind the photographs. Some of those present at the occasion are understandably upset that the Prime Minister has escaped punishment. Sources in the Metropolitan Police Department said they were worried about the investigation's consequences and that their lack of transparency in decision-making would further harm the force's already soiled image. Senior officials at Scotland Yard have declined to reveal how their investigators arrived at their conclusions. But Acting Commissioner Sir Stephen House is likely to be asked questions on Thursday when he goes before the London Assembly Police and Crime Committee.